Hey everybody, it's Fat Frog, and today on Ark Survival Evolved, I thought we'd take a look at the cryopods in the cryo fridge and see what little updates they made to them and just do an overall look at them. So that's why I'm over here at the terminal. I got my big bird because they take kind of a lot of heavy materials to craft. So let's go ahead and craft up a couple of these. I already got one cryopod in my hand. And so for a cryopod, you're going to need to be level 51 in order to craft it. And let's go craft one of those. So it's going to take us 10 crystal, 15 fiber, 5 hide, uh, 2 metal ingots, and 4 oil, and 8 polymer. Or organic polymer you can use as well. So we're going to head craft one of those up. And let's craft up two right away. And then for the cryo fridge is where we can store these cryopods we're just going to go into structures and electric and there that one is that's going to take 25 crystal 15 electronics 225 metal ingots so that's quite a lot and 60 polymer so we're going to, have to craft one of those guys up and we should only need one of those so we're going to do that and oop, we got a level from all that lovely crafting so let's go take a look at our cryopod so a uh, cryopod here is going to have a charge for 30 days and then after that it's going to break and any dyno that you had stored in it is also going to basically break and disappear so you gotta really be careful of you watch this now to watch how long this lasts now they'll recharge once you put some put them in a cryo fridge so and they'll last in there indefinitely so they'll last you know for <laughs> supposedly for as long as you do basically and then uh, if you put them in a regular refrigerator they'll last 60 days but at that time they're still going to break and you're still going to lose your dyno so got to be very careful um, with that so we got our cryo fridge we'll go put that up we need electricity to power it but we're going to take a look at uh, the other things with the cryopods so i am very heavy so let's go put some of this extra stuff in our bird here that we don't need to carry around all right so let's just step over here and let's look at what we see now when we've got a creature so in a creature in a cryopod now we've got this um, much nicer um, I don't know if it's a user interface or whatever it is readout I guess um, the text is a lot bigger um, all these uh, numbers here in the little boxes are the color regions but here we can see we've got our raptor it's level it's uh, its name is yikes it's a 244 female um, it is you know it's got 5736 um, health and you can see by that that it is um, you know it's at full health it's not damaged um, so in a cryopod uh, one of the nice things about them is that they'll continue to gain passive XP at a really good rate and then also But at the same time they will not regen health as far as I can tell so that's kind of a, a Problem if you put something in a cryopod you want to use it later and it was only at half health now You've got to wait for it to get back up to health so other interesting thing about cryopods is cryo sickness and this is kind of a way to reduce their effectiveness and so you can put them on a on the hot bar so we got a bear on a hot bar here and so you can see in the lower right hand corner there we've got now a timer that shows cryo sickness and if I throw another one of these guys out I guess I had one on my hot bar here so we'll throw out another bear and oh the bear's got cryo sickness so it is asleep now and it is unconscious and we're going to have to wait quite some time for this bear to wake up and at that time i think the bear is going to take more damage so uh and our cryo sickness timer is still at uh whatever it is 260 seconds so that's a big problem if you if you do that and you didn't realize it other thing with a cryopod let's uh if, let's steal this guy's saddle because our other bear doesn't have a saddle. Come on, bear. There we go. Grab this guy. We'll zip over here. Let's see if we can collect something with this bear. Can we collect something here? No. Let's kill this dragonfly. Where the heck did it go? <laughs> Thank you. 
Alright, so the bear's got a bunch of stuff in it. As you can see. And now if we cryopod it... Okay. If we cryopod it, now it lost all of its inventory. Only its saddle... I'm gonna grab this fiber. Uh, only its saddle is left uh, in the cryopod. So that's another thing that you have to watch out for when you're using the cryopod. The biggest thing, though, that problem with the cryopods um, is it's a really really good way to lose your dinos so if you die and you had a bunch of cryopods you know in your inventory and you can't reclaim your body because it fell through the map or you just can't find it or it's too dangerous or, or whatever the case may be see our bears taking a long time to wake up um, if you have, those cryopods are just going to disappear in your inventory and you're going to lose all those things. And if you are on uh, PvP, which I don't really play on very much at all, uh, if you had cryopods in your inventory or if you had them in your cryo fridge and you get raided, then there is a very good chance um, that you're going to lose everything. So I'm going to cryopod this dude again. All right, we're gonna cryopod little bear here. Um, and so then your creatures can be stolen from you. You can see he's dropping all the meat there. And we're just going to leave this guy to his devices. Let him sleep. Let Big Bear sleep. And we'll head back to base and we'll show you the cryo fridge. But anyway, uh, you know, you're going to lose those creatures. And once the your enemy throws the, uh, throws the creature out of the cryopod, it's going to be theirs. It'll, it'll be uh, theirs to basically just have. Uh, it'll and uh, so that's a great way to, to lose your creature. So normally if you get raided in a base, somebody, uh, unless they're jerks, might just leave some of your tames alone. But in this case, they can just go ahead and take them if they raid your cryo fridge and steal your cryopods. Man, Quetzals are slow. Okay, so we're back here. And the other thing I was going to say, the other issue um, with cryopods is it's also a great way to trade creatures between tribes. So that's a good thing. So we should have... There's a good place for our cryo fridge, right next to the other fridges. Do we have any space for them? No. Space here, why are we... Why are we being such a pain here? I could put it out here for some reason. Well, I guess I'll put it next to this other fridge. There we go. That looks awful. I think uh, later on I'll switch it so there's a outlet over here so I don't have these ugly wires coming through here. Okay. But now uh, you can see here our cryopod is going to expire here in 29 days and 22 hours. And then if we put it in the fridge, it has no expiration date. Uh, if we go into the regular fridge over here, um, we got the same thing with this guy here. He's got uh, 29 days, 23 hours. If we put it over here, now we're up to 59 days, 22 hours. So that would be 60 hours total on that guy. So once it's in here, you don't have to worry about it. Of course, if, if you were gone for a long time, um, you know, and you lost power, and then you could also lose your creatures. But, I mean, if you're gone from a server for, you know, 30 days, that's, I don't know, I guess that's on you. <laughs> um, so that should be most everything with the cryopods. Um, they're an absolute great feature that they added to the game. At the same time, they've, uh, they've made a lot of other things easier, so... It may be too easy, so uh, if, if you have an opinion on that, leave it that in the comments. Um, hope you enjoyed the video. If you have, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. And thanks for watching.